Okay guys, it's Black Friday time. I did some shopping. You can see the wheels back there. You can see uh, some bumpers back there. I've had those a long time and I've been meaning to show you guys those, but I haven't been able to put them on a car yet, so why am I gonna show you guys them if I can't show you installing them? But, as everyone can probably see, I bought a wide body kit, Pandem kit, Rocket Bunny kit, whatever you wanna call it, just knock off off eBay for the E30. This will be in lieu of my all metal wide body, which I am unfortunately not going to be doing just because of the amount of time, effort, and money it would take. So, I uh, sprung for the simple option, which I think honestly looks better anyway. It was really the route I wanted to go, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. So, different times. I think I was just over it. I bought the kit. Whole kit, everything but the lip. Here's the wing. This is uh, all off eBay. I'll put a link to it, but I'll go over each piece. And lastly, I bought these seats that I'm sitting in. These are Corbo FX1s, microfiber, all that nonsense. Not sponsored or anything. I just bought these because they were our, uh, they were a good price on Black Friday. I think I paid like 660 for the pair, shipped to my door. Very happy with those. These are going in the E30, probably building my own brackets. So stay tuned for a video of that. It's the first time I've had proper racing seats that will be very exciting. I'm very happy about that. It'll be nice to actually be able to to be stuck into the car when I'm driving on whatever events I'm doing, whether it be autocross rally, all that nonsense. But moving on, I guess you guys really want to see the kit. So let's move this out of the way. Being a complete kit, I have the rear quarters right here. Oh. Got the uh, driver side with the gas lip and then the passenger side. These are, I believe, 70 millimeter over. The fronts are 50 millimeter over. And if you're unfamiliar with Rocket Bunny and Rocket Bunny knockoff kits, they're rivet on fiberglass or reinforced plastic. So they have like a, a plastic layer and I think it might just be a gel coat and then fiberglass underneath. And you just drill holes, put rib nuts in the body and bolt the kits on, paint, all that shaping, that kind of stuff. Some people mold them, but I've been asked a lot if I'm going to mold this kit. I decided against it just because if I mold this kit and one of these cracks right here, which they have a tendency to do, fiberglass does tend to crack, then I'm kind of uh, screwed. I'm kind of screwed. I just paid a whole bunch of money to have it molded, a whole bunch of money to have it painted, and now I have to basically do it all over again because I cracked them. So it's far easier to have it modular, take it apart, something happens, you're good to go, no big deal. Side skirts, front bits, now you guys might have seen, uh, I do have this uh, M-Tech tube kit, this is just the front and rear bumper cover for M-Tech 2 E30. This will replace the standard bumpers, and I'm putting it on an early model. So if anyone knows anything about Pandem kits, hold on. If anyone knows anything about Pandem kits, they're meant to go on late models only. So these late models, they have, this is just a piece for the front bumper and valence. But obviously I won't use this. This is supposed to go over front bumper, match up with the late model bumper, but if I'm using that bumper, it's not gonna make sense, it's not gonna work. Same thing on the rear. So I'm gonna have to do some modifications to the kit as a whole, which is fine, that's no big deal. But I really think it'll be cool, because I don't know if anyone else is running M-Tech plus wide, or Rocket Bunny, and it'll be neat. Ducktail wing. Good stuff. As I said, all of the kit is just eBay knockoff kit. Seats are Corbo. These uh, M-Tech fiberglass ones, they're from Latvia. They're from a company called Classic Euro Parts. And I've, ha I've been sitting on these a long time, meaning to bring them up, show you guys, like I said. But it's been a really long time, like over a year I've had these things. But I just haven't been able to put them on. They do not have any, let me show you. They do not have any, like mounting bracketry 
So you kind of have to get creative and figure it out on your own. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to use some of those quick connect or quick disconnect buttons, not the tie wraps. I've seen people use those tie wraps. I don't really like those, but just the buttons. And then the whole thing will kind of slip onto the actual bumper, the plastic bumper underneath for the late models, and then just pop on with the sides and kind of click it on, have quick release bumpers. It'll be cool. Hopefully. Anyway, that'll be in the description. Links to uh, this kit will be in the description. I bought the side skirts separately, but it's all the same shit. It all comes from China, you know. And last but not least, I have a little more news. I know I haven't been posting anything. I've been really trying to cut out all the rust in the firewall from this new E30 shell that I bought. But unfortunately, it's really starting to look like I'm going to just buy a new shell. The time that it's going to take me to cut out all this rust, patch it up, make it look good, and then in the end, I'm going to know underneath, like, oh, all this, it's got all this holes in the firewall that I had to cut. And I'd, I'd much rather for four or $500 just get another shell, so I'm really looking around and trying to do that right now. That'll save me some time. But once I can do that, I'll be back on my grind because I'll be able to just uh, knock out prep work for paint, hopefully put in a cage, do all the other prep work without being hindered by trying to replace four pans and just the really, really tedious, time-consuming things that you guys don't need to see. I can't show you 16 episodes of replacing four pans. You guys would kill me. So it's been slow, I admit. I apologize. I'm trying to come back. Hopefully I can get a new shell, get it into uh, paint, and then get the motor in, because the motor's sitting ready to go, transmission's on, I've got my shifter ready, I've got the clutches in, everything's just waiting on me to actually set this up. But the last video you guys saw, the core support video, I'll still have the removable core support, it won't take me that long to convert the new shell into it. So other than that, it's really just stripping it down, uh, replacing or pulling my subframes off the five lug swapped new shell and reinforcing those subframes. I have all the garagistic pieces, so look out for that. That'll be a whole episode. I'll do front rear subframe. I'm going to do a Z3 rack. I will pretty much, ex I'll do piece by piece by piece all of those because I'm going to be doing it all myself. Like all the welding I'll be doing myself on those subframes and the painting, stuff like that. Maybe I'll get them power coated, we'll see. And then stay tuned for this wide body start. I'm excited for this. I'll likely have the car running before I do the wide body. As in, I'll probably mock this up, start drilling some holes and like Clico click it, clip it, if you know what those are. They're like just those little clips that you kind of hang in there temporarily for piecing these in and then drilling all your holes. I'll probably have something like that going on while I'm trying to get the car running with the new motor and the ECU because I've got that FEMS ECU sitting on the shelf. And then once all that's done, car's running, engine base painted, I can put on this body kit and get the whole car painted and we should be good to go. So that's, uh, that's what 2019 is like for guys. I appreciate your patience. Thanks for sticking with it. I'm trying to stick with it too. Hopefully I'll have this car done sometime in the middle of this year. Well done, but painted, rolling, tuned, tuned at least. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I do post there a little more often than here. But uh, peace out guys. So I